Hi, my name is Miss Kiff. I am a newbie when it comes to van life and I have been living in my van for months to date, full time whilst converting it. In the last episode, I left you in the Isle of Wight where a storm delayed my van build. In this episode, I escaped to Stonehenge to fit my solar panel and electrics. If you like what you see, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube and follow me on my socials, link down below for live content. Good morning. <laughs> There's gonna be quite a bit of recording over the next couple of days I reckon because I haven't really <laughs> I don't even know how I've managed to get some YouTube videos out of times because my life has been so raucous um, as you can see my van is a tip like I'm well aware of my surroundings um, and this is the true van life I think when you're working four days a week and the other days you're either finishing I just finished my dissertation and you're trying to fix the van, do things, build the van. It's, there's no, it's just also stealthing in the city. It's difficult, it's difficult to sort things out unless you had a safe space to, you know, unpack. Um, and I'm not going to lie, like Stonehenge is one of those places that I feel like comfortable doing that. So I've come here to Stonehenge to, um... so yeah, I've come to Stonehenge because I want to um, basically fit my solar panel onto my roof. Um, I've got a friend that's helping me out, which is really cool. And then um, finish my electrics, but also to sort out the van because next at the end of the month, I'm going to be buying the cupboards for year and installing my sink so i need to try to get as organized as possible at the moment it's just like a dump like all my bedding and stuff is clean from last week all my laundry is clean which is great it's just last week it was raining a lot and you couldn't really do a bit of stuff so anyway we're here now so i've also had a bit of a lane this morning which is nice it was so t i was so tired yesterday getting here i'm so drained lately it's i'm so drained but yeah I feel like this is just perfect. Um, I'll definitely time lapse this tidy up or do it before and after. I should be like, boom, dish, whatever. But yeah, like I've noticed that I haven't really had like a storyline. And the thing is, I'm not one of those YouTubers that's going to give you a storyline um, because this whole channel is me and my life like the ups the downs the ins the outs the raw um kind of vibe and to be honest with you it's also a way to show you that like van life van life experiences are different like this is the perspective of someone who bought a van with no money <laughs> and is continuing to work towards that budget to move forward and fulfill a dream of hers which is to travel and experience life you know and i'm doing it and it's four months officially since i've moved into the van four months that's wild and we're wrapping up the year you know we're in november it's going to be december soon and i feel like i'm in a bit of a transition another transition and that's why it's really hard for me to vlog and do things but i thought to myself no i really need to pick up the camera and like let you in i feel like there's so many moments that i haven't really celebrated on the channel because my life has been so busy and draining and exhausting and you know you you don't even stop for a second you just ground yourself and i think one of the things with trying to finish the van or trying to be so busy is that I just want the weekend where I can go and chill with my van, 
experience my van go for a hike not stress about this not stress about that i just feel at the moment i've got no downtime um because i'm trying to get out of a situation into th the life that i deserve to be in so it's all a bit raucous so moments like this i really do treasure where i can just sit in my van and obviously it's a f mess but it won't be this mess soon i want to tidy up get the music on you know get ready for the day i love being in my van and i haven't got to enjoy it so here i am there's no better place you want to be because it's just the energy is so here i love this place i love being here um and i feel like I am in a bit of a transition in my life right now and it's it's scary because obviously the security aspects gets taken away but then that gets replaced with happiness and when you're happy there's no better way to live in my opinion always go for what you want and believe in yourself because if you really want something you can have it let's get Let's keep tidying up. I'll show you how crazy this van is, actually. It's like a mess. Yeah. It's it in two minutes, so if he wants to get like the base take for everybody. Oh no, I need it. How do you know what is this thing called? Uh, ratchet. 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 How does it work? Yeah, so it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, boy, so I'll show you my leg. My left leg, yeah, loose. So when you get to the left, Living his best life. Bye, come on. <laughs> Bye. Come. Or maybe he he's coming, he's coming. Hello. <laughs> uh, I highly recommend Penny Fan Breaking Beacons yeah. is a must because it's just so much to do that and it's picturesque. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like you know what you're doing anyway. But that's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks can be deceiving. I've done my one, I've done my old man. He hasn't blown up yet. No. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> basically. <laughs> That'd be all right. Yeah. Um, Put some fucking drilling in there now. Yeah. More drilling. <laughs> Damn, damn, damn.